So brilliant to watch. I mean, that's just a tiny bit that we've yeah. watched there, but I'm yeah. in already. I can't wait to watch good, it. Good, good. So how did they entice you over? Because, as you said, you, you're not a presenter. No, So this is a I'm completely not. different role. Well, yeah, I was a bit nervous about doing this because I know that presenting is a proper skill and it's not one that I'm particularly experienced at. But um, when I saw what they'd done with this show in America yeah. um, and I saw how completely innocent and delightful it is. There's no yeah. judging. Nobody gets rejected or horrible feedback or anything like that. Yeah. It's very positive. Mm. So it's the Ellen kids come generous, on. isn't it? Ellen, it started yeah. on Ellen's show. Yeah. And then Steve Harvey presents it in America. Um, and so really it's a chance to just chat to the kids and yeah. relax them a little bit and then let them do whatever it is they do best. They're, it's their passion or their hobby or their little... It's just uh, a moment to Yeah, shine. it's a little moment, exactly. And the spotlight's on them and the, it's all all very positive and they all relax and do their thing some of them are kids that have had um kind of internet um attention ah. so, and more views than we could ever dream of yeah <laughs> some of them yeah. for doing a little funny dance or something but they're just so cheerful and about is that it. how you find them how do you find <laughs> the children to take part well they, there was a big uh they spread the net quite wide and yeah. some of the kids have come from the american show so there yeah. are kids from the philippines and japan and um kazakhstan and oh, right. in oh, india wild. so there's kids from everywhere the majority of the kids on our show are from the UK. Yeah. Uh, but there's a big smattering of kids from elsewhere from all too. Over the world. Yeah. And it's all sorts of talents. Mm. It well. is. It is. I mean, we've got a little four year old who is a shepherd. You know, we've got cup stackers and guys that are great on a scooter and uh, a little chef and people doing unusual things alongside amazing voices, phenomenal dancing, beautiful ballet, heartbreaking, beautiful ballet. That little boy, Emil, uh, broke my heart. And, and the one um, that you saw there, Braden, who his what happens to Braden is that he goes in his bedroom and he recreates every goal that he's ever seen ah. by narrating it as he does it. Oh, that's so and he cute. knows everything about Manchester City. There's nothing about Manchester City that kid doesn't know. <laughs> yes. It's just the best fun you could possibly have. But I mean, also, it's a chance to be a kid again. The for weird me. thing is for you, and I think it's really good, but it must be tough, is you've not met them before. No. So they come out, you have to get to that level of trust yeah. and fun yeah. over the space of how long? Well, I suppose with each kid, I spoke to them for about 15 minutes. Yeah. Um, and then out of those 15 minutes, we've edited down to a couple of minutes. Um, but very quickly, they are very willing to do whatever it is. And so long as we have a bit of fun chatting, which we do, they're all up for jokes. Yeah. And, you know, frankly, I'm much happier with kids than I'm with adults. <laughs> <laughs> this is a chance for me to just go out to play, Yeah. frankly. Yeah. And, you know, I, I, am, I know you shouldn't push your children to have children. I know you shouldn't. But I, I am that person, the grandparent in waiting. Right. I'm a little bit jealous. Jen, Jennifer's got three that I'm allowed to have a little practice oh. with every now and again. But I am waiting for little kids to be around. Well, that's good that being surrounded by children fun. hasn't put you off of all of that. No, no, absolutely <laughs> not. So what else is going on for you? Because are you busy writing? Last time we saw you, you just written your third book. Yes. So are you, what is that, is that you doing more novels? What I'm doing, doing? A, this year. I can't tell you too much about it yet, um, but I am writing something that isn't a novel, that is a fiction, uh, uh, non-fiction, uh, that is um, going to be published around my birthday, because I'm 60 this year. No wow. way. And so I'm That's way, crazy. I am 60 this year. How did that happen? Because when I, when I was a kid, you know, I used to look at people who were 60 and just think, you should just really die. <laughs> Um, because what is the point of view now? You know, when I was little, that's what I used to think about people who were 60. Oh I did, God. and now I'm that person. If you don't look... Well, you know, no, whatever, you know, but it's isn't it sake. weird? 60 doesn't feel like anything. I feel just like I was 40 or yeah. whatever. So, this is, so as this is uh, now a, a, a factual book, a non-fiction yes. book... Yes, yes. I mean, you, with your one-woman show, I yes. thought you'd sort of said everything that no, you I've needed to say. No, I've got loads to say. More to say. <laughs> 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 I've got loads to say, and it's not quite... Um, um, oh, I'm so wanting to tell you more about it. No, please do. It's, <laughs> it's more like a diary. It's more like that, but it's so interactive yeah. so that when you receive it, you will fill it in, and I have filled part of it in, and so it, we, we do it together. When we go through a year together, okay. you oh, and I, whoever, you know, great. you and I, whoever has the... You said something really interesting um, to our researcher, and you said, from now on, all yeah. you want to do is things that make you think. 
Yeah, and I think that's a really good place to start, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, it's true. Like, that's... I don't want to do anything pointless anymore. Yeah, that's say. right. Well, what, it, you see, I do want to do things that that are delightful, and that's what Little Big Shots is. That's just delight and good fun. That is completely allowable. I just don't want to do meaningless things. I, I you you know, haven't got enough time things? left. I've got enough minutes left in my life to uh, to not be thinking properly. But you don't or, seem to have done much meaningless stuff. Say, no, not very meaningless, well. but you know, sometimes offers come towards you for th jobs that you might do and you think, well, what's in that? I can't I can't imagine what I would uh, what I would benefit from that, what anybody else would benefit from it. No, I can't do that. I haven't got time for that. So I just, I don't mean being serious. I just mean uh, ha having a having a point, whatever it is that you do, it's a bit like the show that I did, the yeah, yeah, thirty yeah. million minutes. You know, yeah. I set out to do um, quite a light-hearted show, but as I started to write, I thought, mm, I've got things to say here, and also there are things that have happened in my life that are sad and difficult, and I'm not going to shy away from yeah. them. And and I'm really glad I didn't, because yeah. then I could connect properly with people. And with this non-fiction book that I'm doing, I hope I'll do the same thing. It's well, a bit of throwing a, a a line out, if you like. When you can talk about it properly, yeah. please come. Oh, I don't. Definitely will. I definitely will. I definitely will. And this is all being. This is in Cornwall. This is, I'm doing soaking it in, Cornwall. in the gorgeousness yes, of Cornwall. Yes, absolutely. Sitting You're there, so looking lucky. out over the sea. I know. Heavenly. So I know. Heavenly.